So in the previous video, what we found was that for certain quadratics, the quadratic formula won't work. And it's because of the number that you get underneath the square root sign. It's that square root sign that limits the uh, answers that you can potentially get. Because if the number below the square root symbol is negative, then you don't get any real roots. You don't get any values where the curve crosses the x-axis. So this bit that is underneath the square root symbol is given a special name because of how important it is in deciding the quadratic's fate, if it were. And it's called the discriminant. You can think of it as discriminating between quadratics as to whether they will have roots or not, I guess. So the discriminant is the b squared minus 4ac section of the quadratic formula, and it is incredibly important in solving um, problems that are going to be coming up in future videos. So, we've seen that if the discriminant is negative, okay, so if it's less than zero, then that means that there are no real roots. So the word root, I'm using the word root quite a lot here. The word root um, is another word for a solution, or specifically where the curve is crossing the x-axis. So in this case, you will find that the quadratic is always above the x-axis, or if the number in front of the x squared is less than zero, is negative, then the curve would be permanently below the x-axis. I should just put no real roots, rather than no real root. So that's when it's negative. If the discriminant is positive, then what we find is that we have two distinct real roots. Now what that means is that when that number, in front, um, that number below the square root symbol is non-negative okay, uh, and is zero, that means you get two distinct points at where the curve is crossing the x-axis. And so you will find that the curve would cross at two distinct points like that or like this. So what about, if you could imagine that this curve um, is approaching the x-axis and moving upwards, at some point between here and here, that curve will touch the x-axis at one point. There will be a point where the curve will go brush, just brush the x-axis like that. Or in this image, just brush the x-axis like this. So that would mean that we have one real root, and it's, and it's known as one repeated real root, or just one repeated root, okay? So that is when you get equations, quadratics that look like this, for example, where you have both brackets when factorised are the same. So you have a repeated root, because x is 3 is repeated twice, effectively. So, one repeated real root, when will this situation occur? Well, that situation will occur when this section gets rid of that plus minus. And the only way that that section can then be ignored is if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So you've got three cases, and it's important you know what it means for each of them. So the discriminant can either be strictly positive, so greater than zero, it can be equal to zero, 
or it can be strictly negative, so less than zero. And this is what we can infer from that information.